Well, uh, health and safety is a no-brainer. It's, it's something, the minute you mention that to a minister, like there's an issue going on, their ears will perk up. You know, I had someone who was leaving a place, the family started throwing rocks at him mm -hmm. and striking the car. I was at a meeting, you know, the next big meeting that happened, I said, what are we waiting for? Are you waiting for someone to actually get hurt before you do something about this? And I can tell you, I, you know, they're just basically saying, no, 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 it's not what, we, I mean, it's, yes, you need to define the issues, you need to make a record of the complaint. Uh, the person that was attacked didn't want to do anything, I mean, I can't force someone to write somewhere they don't want to do it, but I mean, I wanted to make it known. You know that this is not going to be tolerated. Wait, but there are two other things. I'm not trying to be picky. There are two other things. But workplace safety, right, is enforced by an outside agency primarily, right, by OSHA or PESH, right? Work with me. It's enforced generally by an outside agent, right? PESH for New York State, correct? And OSHA for private sectors, right? Now, if you have an enforcement, you have to have someone to come and inspect. Mm -hmm. And the federal government has cut the inspectors. Mm -hmm. They have to fund it. So two things I'm worth telling you. If you have a problem, you must identify where the problem is, right? And be prepared to make the complaint to the agency and give publicity to it. Because if you just make the complaint, the complaint may be corrected before anybody comes. Right? right? So you have to make the complaint, right? By knowing what the regs are. I'm not saying you are a specialist in there. And give publicity to it. If you do not know the complaint and go into a meeting, mm -hmm. they are going to say they will do this. But they know they do not have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Because the enforcer is outside. You follow what I'm saying? So what am I saying? You have to know, look for the regulation, right? We are going to go through some of it. It's not difficult, right? Mm -hmm. it's not, I'm telling you, it's not difficult. So you look for the regulation and then you know what it is. And you, you raise things, like you know what you're talking about. We will give you the key part, right? Right? The section 5A1, um, you know, you have to provide a workplace uh, free from blah, 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 recognized as uh, blah, blah, blah. You understand? And you go in there and say, this is a violation of that, right? I know my rights. You don't know what you do, but you know. <laughs> you know, they just send us out into the field when we kind of have a, a brief description of, you know, what the patient's medical history is. But I've gone into, like, houses that were run down mm -hmm. and just stopped at the door. Like, we have that, uh, that right to stop at the door, but now they're opening up to shelters, yeah. to homeless, you know, facilities, to people with a lot of medical um, mental illnesses. We still have to kind of go in there and treat because that's why they're on program because they had maybe schizophrenia, ran into a truck, and now they have a you know a hip fracture. Mm -hmm. So you can't not treat that person. Mm -hmm. So what if they have a behavior while you're there in the you know in the house treating? There's usually not, you know, someone who comes in and supervises while you're doing a physical therapy evaluation and you're in their room. So you kind of have to use your instincts as far as, you know, just the, the whole situation, whether they're, and, you know, and they could be maybe have a UTI and be confused and you don't know, you know what I'm saying? But you still have to be able to think on your toes, call 911 while maybe they're coming at you. you like, I don't know, I've never been in that situation. But it's very, you know, very possible. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some places can be infested with cockroaches, bugs. Dead, bugs. dead bugs. I mean, bugs. I mean is she, do you she guys wear suits that you have to be? Okay, so this is no. what, is, what is she supposed to do? She just, no. she just illustrated a company. This is how I came from yeah, work. No, no, no. When I go home, are, I take uh, off. What is she supposed to do now? There is no regulation. No law. There's no oh, right. Well, first you should document this. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah. Not a document. What is, in general, what is she supposed to do? So if I go into a patient's house, let's say they're... Not, not you. We're not putting you on the block. I'm putting Alex on the block. Oh. 
<laughs> what is she still to do now, Alex? Well, I mean, first you should talk to, well, who is your shop steward? Who's Forget about the shop steward. Supervisor. Uh, what we need you to do, work with me, Alex. We have social work and inspectors get killed in, 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 in Florida and so on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You have people in uh, Kings County Hospital get assaulted, mm -hmm. right? Inside the hospital, behavioral problem, right? Mm -hmm. So she's at serious risk, mm -hmm. right? No one policeman is going to go into a place like that. Mm -hmm. They wanted to put one policeman, in, Dinkins wanted to put one policeman in a, in a car and they almost strike, mm -hmm. right? Sure. So we need our, if, if something happened to her tomorrow, assume something happened to her tomorrow. What did we do as a union? She complained to us and she got injured tomorrow in doing her job, right? She got killed tomorrow in doing her job. She complained to us, right? What are we going to do? Could you give us your name and number, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll have the people call you tomorrow. Okay. And not just you. Hear me now. This is a union. I'm, not, I'm just using this as an example, right? This is so what we are doing, right? Mm -hmm. okay. What we are doing, we are stepping back okay. to find evidence what can happen, right? Mm -hmm. For health and safety in this thing, you look for the worst case, case scenario, the right? The worst case. So, yeah. uh, manufacturing the worst mm -hmm. case, true? And uh, we are giving evidence that these are possibilities, right? Now we have to take it up to the people, right? Yeah. The common Just problem is you can be attacked, you can be assaulted, right. and you have no protection. Yeah. A policeman has a weapon, and he has a right to kill you. Also, give Alex your yeah. right, right. personal email, not work email, please.